New at six, what do Confederate General, a major sports network, and a pit football game all have in common? In this case, they're all players in a controversy that has people all over the country talking. Ralph Iannotti has the story. We've all seen the pictures, the clashes between white nationalists and counter protesters that led to the death of a woman in Charlottesville, Virginia, earlier this month. Charlottesville is also the home of the University of Virginia, which is set to open their football season against William and Mary in a couple of weeks. Enter Robert Lee, no, not the general, whose statue in Charlottesville started the whole fight. Robert Lee is an Asian American announcer for ESPN who was supposed to call the game. ESPN decided to switch Lee to the Pitt Youngstown State game because of his name. That makes no sense. I think they're going a little bit too deep into it. He's not like the people who are trying to keep us divided on racial lines and stuff like that, and he's actually a good guy. You can't fault him for his name. His, par his parents gave it to him, it's not him. Everyone's getting in on the debate over how much political correctness is too much. Former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee and Fox News contributor Mike Huckabee mocked the network on Twitter. ESPN will not broadcast games of any kind from Jackson, Mississippi, for fear it might honor Stonewall Jackson and trigger someone. And ESPN will no longer air football games on TV as referees are dressed in black and white, and that could be viewed as racism. In a statement, ESPN said that when they made the decision, it felt right to all parties. But most people we talk to call it overkill. I think all of the, the divide right now in the country is just not a good thing. So I think we just need to learn about more love and less fighting. Ralph Iannotti, KDKA-TV News.